Welcome back for another video. We haven't done a world first video in quite a while and today we're going to get back to it. We're going to do another one. We have something special that I've been waiting on for a little while and while I may not be the first person in the world with this product, we are the first on YouTube. So get ready, sit back, enjoy. Let's go. We have our Zero One Camaro. We're going to do some more modding today, guys. We have some special goodies from Corsa. Check this out. If you guys remember from the last videos, we did uh, the Corsa new exhaust. And they sent on a cleaning and protection kit. This is really cool. So, a big shout out to these guys. I want to say before we begin, Corsa is known for top quality. Everybody out there kind of knows it at this point. Just awesome products, awesome quality. They're known for good stuff. So what's in this box though, however, is something fancy, something special, all brand new. This is brand new for the ZL1 Camaros. And by the way, as we roll into this installation and driving review, remember to check out the discount codes below in the video descriptions to save a bunch of money. You can use Xander13 promo code at CorsaPerformance.com to buy this, buy exhaust, buy this, or whatever you want, whatever you find. doesn't have to be Camaro specific. It could be Mustang, it could be truck, it could be whatever they have on the website. But I want you guys to save some money, so go check out the video description, the links below, and save some money. But I digress. Let's open up the box, see what's inside, guys. Here we go, Corsa Performance, man. So excited. Again, not the first on the internet in the world with this but the first one on YouTube which is kind of cool we're the first one in the world to be able to do it and show you guys how to install it and uh, you know go for a review a drive all of that but all right so we got some hardware here kind of see where I'm going with this so we've got some couplers some nice uh, t-bolt clamps if this doesn't give it away yet um, well I mean you already know what it is by the title and thumbnail but still I guess I can quit beating around the bush I mean you guys have already seen the title and thumbnail at this point so guys this is if you don't know if you haven't caught on already and you're just blind this is a brand new intake system for the ZL1 Camaro guys this is brand new to the world and very excited to be able to run it on my car so that's what we're gonna be doing today is installing this properly and then putting it on the road and go for a thorough detailed test drive. I'm very picky when it comes to products and stuff like that that we represent on this car and I only want the best. Let's continue though. Big old air filter. Check that out. Blue. They have an oil setup which is what this is and they also have a dry setup. Another highlight guys. Check that out. So this is an open air box design which is really cool. So this is a metal heat shield check this out all right i love carbon fiber guys look at this oh my goodness wow check this out dude course of performance so this is like glazed over but look at the carbon weave dude check this out this is so sexy that's so cool i like that There's, it weighs nothing so and the other benefits of like carbon fiber it looks good you know i really like it but it has uh, some heat dissipating properties that uh, can really can't be beat. So, you know, it's, it's really good stuff. Just another look at what you're getting whenever you order one of these. It's about a $600 thing. So it's, it's really not that bad, in my opinion, for a carbon fiber intake. No tune, of course. So this is also supposed to pick up a bunch of power. There's a little bit of R&D. Well, there's a lot of R&D that went into the development of this. Uh, digging through the forms and just talking to course and stuff like that. So they tested out a lot of different elbow options as far as, you know, being able to deliver as much performance and power uh, while as keeping the stock tuned. Uh, I think that this is going to be perfect. And I think this is going to be recommended for probably 95% of the people out there, uh, myself included. So um, this is something, gosh almighty, look at this artwork. Dude, look at the weave. This is perfection right here. <laughs> Instead of calling it a course of performance, we need to call it a course of perfection. That looks good, man. I like it. So got the heat shield, um, and then we got the top piece. So we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna dig through the instruction manual, and then get the other one off of the car. Dig through the manual. Uh, it does come with instructions in the box and some stickers, and then that way you guys can just follow along with the video, and then you know. You'll see how it's installed. And then, like I said, at the end of this, we're going to go for a drive. We're going to put it on the road and then see if we can get back some of that blower wine that we lost with the other one and see if we can feel any difference, see to the pants, if it's going to feel any faster. And I think the answer might be yes, but I don't know. Should be fun, Corsa. 
thank you so much this look at this gosh am i in the light dude look at look at the shape of it everything is it's perfection all right guys we're done about 20 minutes later check this out dude this is fancy so this is again all carbon fiber look at the weave look at the pattern it's got my fingerprints all over it so i'll definitely clean that up but this is uh definitely a tight fit i gotta say definitely a tight fit so if I were to shine light through here, which I have, uh, you will see daylight all the way through. So nothing is coming in contact. Pretty uh, nifty too. This this AC line that comes up. So if you guys maybe saw in the beginning, there's actually a little cutout here too. And this rests right up underneath. So the tolerances are very, very close and tight. Not a bad thing. It just means that Corsa has done well with the room that they've been given and honestly There's not a whole lot. So this is the way that it looks keep your rubber grommets And then these little legs they kind of fit down in here on three spots and everything is you know Completely secure. So this is designed to fit up against the the hood and seal up and then as far as airflow goes So you guys can kind of tell this is your factory Induction system kind of hard to see given the light, uh, but basically it comes through the the front of the the bumper here all the way through the car Anyway, there is a leg you can kind of see right there where it sits up against to guide airflow up Into the air filter itself, but it looks really good. Let me get back here Get you guys a good shot. So this looks really really good. I'm extremely happy with the way it came out. So now it is time to go drive and do a review. Jumping into the driving review portion of this video, finally, let's get this thing fired up. Let's go. Gotta love the Corsa stuff. The Corsa exhaust sounds so delicious. But this one advertises 19 increased horsepower and 28 pound feet of torque on a stock tune. Of course, if you tune them, you can get more, but that's pretty impressive. And maybe this will be a step up above what we had before. So we've had a few different intake systems on this stock ZL1 so far. The last one, we lost a little bit of that blower wine. It felt about the same as the, the first one that the car came with when I bought it. But this one, let's see if things improve. And I think the answer might be yes. We are off. Let the car still warm up a little bit. taken off normal like that which is to be expected we're not under boost which is we're gonna hear a lot of that supercharger whine the open filter air box is supposed to increase that so the last one we had was closed this one is back to being open and it's carbon fibers so is a light material and sound should pass through it pretty easily so it should be pretty audible whenever we you know stick it to the floor which we're gonna do in just a second once we're finally up to operating temperature but um, the IETs right now I'm watching MAT and uh, it's not cooking itself to death yet. We want blower wine, but we also want as much efficiency as we can get. So that's something we need to pay attention to. It's uh, 51 degrees outside, and right now Matt's at you know 84. So when we do a pull, I expect it to increase uh, heat a little bit. But I want to pay attention to the recovery as well because that's very important. I think for back-to-back -back runs. All right, guys, we are up to temperature. We're gonna drop it down into track mode tires are still a little chill but hopefully we can hook up fine again it's going to be probably tough to feel 20 horsepower difference the torque uh we might be able to tell now there's other things that we can also pay attention to like throttle response so we're going to get up here this one straight away we're going to give it a little gas i mean a lot and hopefully we can stick to the road and hear and feel but most of all we're doing this for sound until you're tuned uh, let's be honest, the colder intake on the Camaro ZL1 is more for that wine. Let's give it. Okay. It's back down from the triple speed limit. Yeah, I would say that we definitely have some blower wine. So hopefully, that, hopefully that's coming off on camera. Uh, like I can hear it in person. It's definitely singing. Now, I've got a loud exhaust. So anytime you do anything with your exhaust, I mean, keep that in mind. You're going to wash everything out. But I think that we definitely did over the last one 
over the last cold air uh, picked up a little bit more blower wine which is always a good thing that's what we love these supercharged cars for is that noise that instant power that instant hit and the noise <laughs> issue for sure and now as far as power can we feel it yeah I, I'd, I'd say it's a little bit more responsive I mean it, it's coming on the hit the torque I think is what really picking up on um, just it's sucking in so much of that that fresh cold air so we're coming down from about 120 IT after uh, about a mile and a half of just sprinting so that's not bad so definitely climbs when you're in the throttle but it comes down seems to be recovering pretty quickly now we're sitting here at the red light. Let's see what it gets up to. In stop and go traffic, all these intakes are hot intakes. But when you're moving, it just it plummets. It just, yep, you know, from 120 to 102 in a couple of seconds. So as we keep driving, yeah, it's going to continue to drop. But let's give it one more. It sings. I like this thing. I like it. Good job, Corsa. There's a lot of different companies out there making cold air intakes for these. But I think Corsa did their homework on this one. Guys, let's finish up the video inside the car and uh, get ready because in the next ones we, in the next videos coming up, we have more mods that we're going to be doing to this car. So definitely subscribe and turn the bell notification on so you don't miss what's coming. Some more power is going to be coming soon to the ZL1 Camaro. But I want to wrap up and uh, have a little post game. Just say that, yes, I think Corsa has produced a product that is going to contend very very well with the competition that already exists on the market. They may be a couple of years late to the game, but don't count them out. I think they have a phenomenal product and I think it looks the part, it performs the part, and I think that this is a home run. So good job, Corsa. I'm proud of you guys. You guys are always awesome at everything that you produce. I love the exhaust on this car. I don't even know if I want to put headers on this car, honestly, because it sounds so good and delicious. But again, if you're interested in this, use my promo code code that you can find down in the video descriptions on their website and you can save a bunch of money guys more power is going to be coming very soon but i digress guys i'll see all of you guys later in the next video god bless all of you take care have a great day and until next time bye